CAPM, which stands for the Capital Asset Pricing Model. This model says investors should earn higher returns only if they're taking on more market risk. In our regression output, we're comparing Buffett's excess returns to the market's excess returns. The beta tells us how much Buffett's returns move with the market. It's captured by the coefficient next to the excess market returns. The alpha is the extra return he earned beyond what the market can explain. And the t-statistic column tells us whether these results are statistically significant. If the t-stat is over 2, that means we're 95% confident the number is meaningful, not just noise. Buffett's alpha comes out to about 0.75% per month, or 9% a year, and the t-stat is around 3. That's strong and significant evidence that he outperformed the market in a meaningful way. His beta is under 1, which suggests he did all this with less volatility than the overall market. And the t-stat on beta is a whopping 12, which makes sense. Berkshire is a stock portfolio after all. So far, the data show Buffett didn't just beat the market, he did it with less risk, which is rare. For a detailed breakdown, watch the full video on my channel.